What's up, Phenomenal Family? You're watching Phenomenal TV, where we serve you entertainment that is nothing but phenomenal. Ikamalam Guzana Lepotelwa. And we have been waiting all year to meet the people who first and foremost got people voting. They shook social media, have some of the most beautiful voices in South Africa. But this man right here has a top two kind of voice. And of course, he is a performer of note. I am talking about Ulungisani, a.k.a. Mr. Music. Ba, 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 ba. Budi, congratulations. How are you doing? Um, I'm fine, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for this platform, uh, for the chance for me to talk to you. Um, you know, I'm feeling very well. I'm happy. Thank you. You know. <laughs> That's good. But I always say that before we ever get to idols, I always want to know. So tell us about growing up. What inspired you to start singing? And when did you realize that you wanted to do it? Mm, you know, it was 2007 when my mom passed away, okay? Um, she was a very, very good singer. I think I took a gene from her, you know. <laughs> so she like taught me how to sing, how to control your voice like that, etc. And then it's happened that I'm a church boy, you know. So I grew up at church, you know, singing for Sunday school, you know, the youth time. And I loved this thing, man. I went, I kept on pushing, going to church. And then I didn't realize that by me doing that, I'm just being trained, you know. So I kept on pushing until like I realized that no man, I really can sing. I was like, okay, I can sing and my mom can sing. So it's a gene. Why not? But since I call myself Mr. Music. Mr. Music. <laughs> and he's the one who took it all the way to the top footy, the top two. Now, Mr. Music. For me, that is such a beautiful story. And I'm so sorry about Uma Mako, but I know that she is so proud of you. Are you proud of yourself right now? I am very proud of myself. I mean, opportunities, they don't come in easy in life. You know, I've been saying that. You know why? Because there are thousands and thousands of children waiting. I mean, on the line looking forward to be where we are right today. You know, but it's, it doesn't come easy. So I don't know. It's a grace, you know. So I'm proud that I went this far. I'm really proud of myself. I mean, people pushed me, my friends. They just spend their money just to make a child, you know, to look better, you know. So I'm proud of myself as well, proud of my fans. Yes, yeah. and I'm proud of you because I feel like you made your dream come true. And yes, you are the runner-up, but the, I feel like the purpose over your life is so evident. And you are a winner in your own right. Yeah. Do you feel like that? I do. I mean, like, I do. <laughs> like, yeah, I do good. feel like, you know, things are good for me. You know, they are good. I'm happy to hear that because that's exactly what it is. Now, Puti, let's go back to you auditioning for idols. Why did you decide that you wanted to? You know, this is a very touching story that makes me cry every day because I decided to be the first person to audition at Deben, meaning I arrived the day before the auditions. It was Friday 9 a.m. when I auditioned. I remember when I just go to be there to be the first person. It was Friday 9 a.m. and auditions were about to be Saturday 8 a.m. So I was like, Mr. Music, you know what, man? If you truly value something, you stay committed. Go for it, boy. And, I, you know, I'm here now. I don't regret it, man. Like, so I went there. No one was there. Just bits. <laughs> I was like, okay, sit down, boy. People are going to come, I know. I sat down. I waited and waited. And then about 2 p.m., 3 p.m., I started to see people coming. I was like, okay, well, auditions will be here. So guess what? I auditioned for pre-auditions. I made it to those two rounds and then I went to the, the, the rounds that all of us we know I mean the TV judge you know and I made it I got four years I went to the theater week I made it theater week I went to top 16 I made it top 16 top 10 top 8 top 5 top, 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 top 2 man so like Mr. Music like we made it we made it so I don't regret myself for being there the first person on the line so that inspires people to the youth too that if you really like if you truly value something, you stay committed. You expect to jump like a toast in the morning to go and get what you want. Yes. And you went out and you got exactly what you wanted. And by that, I feel like in terms of idols, it's an experience on its own. Whether or not you're the winner, we've all seen just how many people have come out of it. Let's talk about the competition. What would you say was one of the most difficult things that you had to endure in the competition? As for me, the most difficult thing that I've seen as I was part of the competition you know, is to deliver something better than the original. Because people are expecting something different. I can't repeat Casper. I need to be more than Casper to showcase the talent. You know, that was my challenge every Sunday. That Mr. Me, you can't be low. You need to make that cover, sing it like people have to download it and say, that was better, that was 
do just you know yeah. it's a competition i mean you know yeah. so that was challenging for me as well what i can say is um the stage fright uh, it, it it was my first time being live you know watched by millions you know so that was also challenging but what i like about myself is i managed to control it yes. you know yeah. if you can do that then you are superb <laughs> and you are superb through and through, Puti. Yesterday, the way that you handled it and every single performance, I was like blown away. I, were you blown away by yourself? I, yes, I was away. I, I, I mean, that was beautiful. It I was, was like, okay, Mr. Music, you're too much now. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Self-love is the best love. Mr. Music, I want to know from you as somebody who made it all the way to the top two. Of course, you take something out of the competition. What is the biggest thing that you've taken out of it and you're leaving with it and you're saying it's made you a better person and better performer? You know, uh, I'd love to say this first, that um, my personality, um, my bubbly, can I say my bubbly personality has made people to make me a top two finalist, you know? My heart, I left my heart there on that flow, you know? All that has made me to be proud of who I am today, you know, as well. I think the judges, the comments, they've made me like grow, boy, grow, keep pushing, boy. You know, the negative uh, comments as well. I wanted that, you know? I can't be like climbing the ladder but I, I cannot get something like no no that's not good i mean if you're going somewhere if you want to succeed you need to get something that is negative you know you can't be successing but without challenges you need challenges you need something that's gonna say this is not good so that you'll be angry and say oh, come on man let me do better than this you know if you keep doing it better and better and you don't face challenges that's wrong you need to hustle you need to face challenges that's going to prove to you that you are going somewhere. 100%. They always say that if you're going in the right direction, yes. you will then face challenges and that's how you know. Yes. yes. I think something else that I definitely want to ask you about is your song. And the moment it made it to this number two spot on <laughs> iTunes. What did that feel like and did you expect it? You know, I think as well, I'd love to say this. I think the reason why it's also number two is because I decided to be me. There is nothing way more important if you be yourself stay like be yourself like i am proud zulu boy come on you know <laughs> yes. i am a proud zulu boy i i represented black people there yes. so the, the the reason why they like the song is because i'm me i'm not someone else you know i'm not trying to be i'm not coping someone i'm not yes. coping maria carey or that i am mr music that's all so people enjoyed me and they turned out the song they like the song. I gave it all, you know. So I'm happy that it became number second. That, I mean, that's... Top <laughs> wow. two, top two, top two. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Mr. Music, yeah. you are an act of note. I know that you are going to go so far. And with that being said, can I ask you, what can we expect from you in the future in terms of music? And what kind of sound are you going to be going for? Hey, Kuzobalit, guys. <laughs> guys. Listen, guys, it's going to be lit. Trust me, it's going to be amazing. I mean, it's a super industry. It's a super. I will work hard. As you guys saw that, I was working very hard to the competition. And that as well made me to go and hit top two because I made sure that, no, I must hard, I must be a hard worker. So, I'm going to work hard. Um, you guys need to expect, you know, the vibe. And my genre is afro pop you know yes afro pop guys you know what i like about choosing afro pop i wanna be smart in a way that my afro pop has to combine hip-hop fans gospel fans afro afro pop fans and then put it together and make something huh? nice i mean you know let's let's put them together and create something new yes so, a mr yeah. music masala if you can yeah. call it that yes, yes. Exactly. <laughs> mr music i am so excited for you i know that your fans are excited for you and that's why now i want to ask you if there's anybody that's looking at you right now and it's like i want to be like mr music one day particularly people back home can i ask you just to give them a message into the camera and tell them anything that you can leave them with in terms of wisdom okay listen uh, guys number one you need to believe in yourself. Number one. Number two, trust in God. Mm. Number three, don't take someone's decision first. Take your decision first. Listen, let someone's decision to be second. Go for yours first. 
if you feel you want to go there don't ask them if can i go there just go and then when you're there you can go back now guys where can i go please do that be a fighter be a fighter wake up do something if you don't apply there is nothing gonna come to you apply take action and then the action will come back to you <laughs> I get Dr. Phil. Utetile, Mr. Music Betuna. Thank you so much, Buti. And before I go, I have to ask you to please bless us with your voice once again. Yeah, come on, he's ready. Yes. Mr. Music, we've asked all the contestants to please sing for us phenomenal TV. Nothing but phenomenal. Whatever melody comes to mind, just sing it from your heart. Okay, guys, can I go for this song? Let's sing in Bonizolo. Ezulanga se kaiya, e hamba na bangamba ke. Kofele wa chami ngondo, gopatwa na hika nda, kwanga tingi ya sanga nda. Weba tangenshoni, na kena iboni tengena. Gam tantu muntu gikalu gumbona. That's cut. Yo! Mr. Music was talking about me, Kevin. I know I also felt it. Love it first no. sight. <laughs> Mr. Music, you are incredible. And please, can I ask you to sing for us one more time? All right. And you just need to sing the words Phenomenal TV. Phenomenal. TV. <laughs> Nothing but phenomenal. That's our tagline. Okay, got it. Phenomenal TV, nothing but phenomenal. But you sing it. <laughs> I have to have to sing it. Yes, you gotta sing it. Phenomenal TV, nothing but phenomenal TV. <laughs> <laughs> Buti, you are incredible. I am so excited to see where your bright future takes you. I know you're going to take it all the way to the top. You are blessed. You are anointed. And congratulations once again, my love. Thank you so much, Nate. Thank you so much. Guys, thank you for hosting me. <laughs> His name is Mr. Music, a.k.a. Lungisani Mtetwa, an absolute act, as you can see, one that is class world class and one i know that is going to do absolutely incredible things do not forget his name and make sure that you follow mr music yes, yes. instagram at mr music official underscore that's me <laughs> <laughs> we got you uh, we are about to be out of here though but you know you always got to come back to phenomenal tv because we serve you entertainment that is nothing but phenomenal <laughs>